Hey, what's going on guys? This is X25. Welcome back to some more automation. Today we're going to be making our replica car. And after some serious debate, uh, I think I'll be making an Audi R8. Because I think I have a... Yeah, here it is. There's a mod that I have that looks really similar to an actual Audi R8. So this is what we're going to use. And before we begin too far into this i hope you guys enjoy, are enjoying this game on the channel if you do want to see more be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already i think this will be partial aluminum yeah there you go and it's going to be a semi space frame because i feel like that's what it would have mid longitudinal actually mid longitudinal obviously a uh, new engine project because this thing has a v10 in it Okay, I think it's this one that has the... No, it is. This one has the V10. We'll give it magnesium. Overhead cam, sure, why not? And a head material, aluminum, VVL, sure, why not? Build steel, lightweight forge. Sure, lightweight forge for that as well. And then sport compression will go all the way up. There we go. We, I know that thing does not have a turbocharger, so we're going to do injection, direct injection per cylinder, per performance, our premium. We make sure ignition timing will bring that down. And RPM limit will bring a little bit up. We're going to give it long tubular, dual bypass valves, obviously. I will three way, straight through and reverse flow. Wait, how much horsepower does the Audi R8 make? I should probably... How much horsepower does it make? We're trying to be realistic here. 5.2 liter V10. How much does that make? So let's see, uh... Give me the engine specs. Where is it? You're telling me it doesn't have the horsepower? Oh wait, no, 602. So we need to somehow bring this engine at 602 horsepower. I think it can be done, right? Hopefully. Well, I'm making sure this thing isn't turbocharged or anything. No, it isn't. Okay, so we're going to do lightweight titanium. Just so that way, I'm doing that just so that way I can make more power. Yeah, bring it up. Yeah, uh, there we go. I don't know how we're going to make it up to 602 horsepower, but we're going to get there. And right now, we're making really good progress with that.
Oh, heck yeah, look at that. Oh, what's happening? Come on, I want to squeeze every bit of power out of this as I possibly can. Hold on, here's something I didn't think about. Oh, there goes the knocking. Uh, would it make it more lean? Do the it does. Oh. Oh, but it brings down the power. That's not good. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be able to... Okay, so I won't be able to mess with that. Well, I am able to mess with this. One way or another, this thing is getting up to... 602 horsepower. Oh wait, I passed it, my bad. Got a little bit carried away. There we go, 602 horsepower right there. How's that engine look? Oh, nice. Do I have on all cams? Oh, that brings it up even more. Hold on a minute. There we go. A little bit more moderate now. Oh my gosh, that actually sounds like a Lamborghini. That is amazing. Okay, yeah. The, the, the R8 body definitely looks good on this. That definitely looks like an R8. How does the body look? Yeah, it definitely has a lip. Okay. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, you can delete the... No, we want that. Uh, let's see. I need a legitimate picture. Okay, I I know what to do. That is not an actual window. That's just plastic. Although I don't exactly know how I will be able to reconfigure it so it's plastic. I actually don't really need to do a whole lot with the body. Like, the body looks pretty spot on already. I don't know, should we go, uh, should we keep the red, or should we go, like, full Tony Stark and just do it silver or white? I don't know, we could, 
Oh no, we'll, we'll decide later. Yeah, I know the tires have problems. Apparently the car already has problems and I haven't even touched it yet. Okay, let's start with the grill first because I feel like if you start with the grill... Actually, we're doing the first gen. Because I feel like the first gen is like the most iconic. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty nice, but... I'm really not digging the lip of the grill. That looks pretty ugly. <laughs> oh, wait. Here we go. Here's a good candidate. Let's see what happens when we do this. Do I have snapping disabled? I feel like I have snapping disabled. Alright, let's see. It actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now for the lights. Which might be a little bit easy. Might be a little bit hard to do. Hmm, do we have lights that are that shape? I think these are the closest. Hmm. Oh wait, I also forgot to uh, name it. Audi R8. Wait, no, not R9. There we go. Hmm. I just realized these headlights resemble the second gen and they actually don't look too far off. I don't know. Oh, let's see. Let's try and find the grill to the second generation. See how that looks on the car. Oh, this looks pretty darn close to the second gen. Oh, when you stretch it out, it definitely looks like it. Now if we go to headlights, these look pretty darn close too. Oh my gosh, that actually looks like an Audi. Okay, now that legitimately looks like an Audi there. It does have some resemblance.
Okay, but since that's not completely accurate, I think we'll go with this one because this one is probably more accurate than the other one is. Oh heck yeah, look at that. That looks accurate. That looks like it's more accurate. That definitely looks more accurate. Look at that. That looks awesome. Now that looks like an Audi. That looks like an Audi, all right. That looks so good. I'm so proud about that. I don't know how to, uh... Like, the inside part is, uh, darker than the rest. I don't know how to exactly, uh... Replicate that, though. Yeah, this doesn't really look like you can change the colors of the lights, so we're just going to have to deal with that. Which is fine. Whoops. Okay, now for vents. Oh, I think they add some more vents into the game last time I was here. Okay, I think these are the ones I want, so I need to flip them. Whoa, okay. Whoops. Okay, this does not look very good at all. Hold on, we're gonna go minus. There we go. Okay, never mind. That looks terrible. Okay, that definitely looks a lot better.
Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. Now that looks like an Audi R8 right there. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll need to leave it there. I, right now I need to go and do stuff, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I had to go golfing for the entire day, so yeah, I just now got home. But yeah, we're back. So let's continue where I left. What the heck is this? Is this a what? A, yep, that is a jet turbine. I don't know what I would use that for, but hey. I might use it for a concept car because I know there are some concept cars that have jet turbines as the engine. Okay, let's see. Yeah, well, I'll create that carbon fiber piece that's on the end right here. Ooh. That could work. What is that? That's a jet turbine. The problem here is that there's not really any vents that have that style. I feel like there was at one point though. Like this is probably like the closest I'm going to get. Or this, because that's a pretty good resemblance, too. Well, let's try this. Let's see how this works. Like, what's with that? Um... Oh, gosh, no. I might need to do some body molding for that. Because that's something... That's a little bit of a weird shape to do. Okay, moving on to the... Let's see. Let's try the back end. Yeah, the back end might be able to... I might be able to do. Hmm. Yeah, let's try the back end. Taillights. There has to be at least one taillight that looks like it. Right? Also, they updated the game, which is why everything looks different. Like, they, it looks a lot more crisp. Uh, does that... Maybe. I could use that. I'm not using an NSX taillight. That's just wrong. Oh, let me look at the shape. The shape is fairly simplistic. It should be easy. This is probably like the closest I'm going to get to the shape. The problem is it doesn't look very modern though. Hmm. Like, that could work, maybe? Wait, what is this? Oh, it looks the same on the outside. It just looks different on the thumbnail. Yeah, I think this one's my best go. I think this will be perfect. It should be fairly easy to replicate. It's a fairly simplistic looking taillight. Simplistic enough for automation, at least. Yeah, that looks pretty accurate. The problem, it's a little bit tripping me out because of the red on red. We're to wait. Hold on a minute. What's that? 
There we go. That looks more modern. What is that reflection? There we go, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Actually, I'm doing that just so that way the the line can be somewhat replicated. There we go. Doesn't look too bad, right? I'm just looking at to see what other options I would have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like the best go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good though. That does look pretty accurate. Okay, now for vents. Vents, pretty straightforward. They are very simplistic. Simplistic enough of a design. Oh, it seems like simpl simplicity is what this game lacks sometimes. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There we go. Oh, I do want to get rid of that chrominess. What does carbon look like? Carbon does not look good at all. Soft top looks good. Yeah, that's definitely the back of an Audi R8 right there. And we're just gonna... Wanna rotate it slightly. 
Just so that way it's straight. And then just slightly move it up. There we go. That looks pretty nice, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, number plate. I can't really go wrong here because number plate's fairly simplistic. Not that. It's not that either. I think this would be our best go. Unless if it's this. Like, can we... Because it's a nothing? Yes, we can. Thank you. Actually, hold on a minute. I think this would be better. If we flip it, if we give this transparent, if we make this smaller. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to do some body molding here. Yeah, this is probably what I want. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. That is Audi right there. Now for the real number plate. That's not that. <laughs> Just checking to see what else there is. Okay, yeah, no one... Yeah, they don't have, like, the... Yeah, the thing. You know what I mean. Is that floating? I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it is, so we're just gonna... There we go. Oops. Just move it up. A tiny bit. There we go. Yeah, the little pop-up thing, is we're gonna to need to deal with that. Yeah, I downloaded some uh, badges, but I don't 
see them. Okay, this needs to change. This is going to be changed to that. There we go. Okay, there is a vent that's just here at the end of the windshield. Although, I'm not sure if the vent... If we're going to want to recreate that, I don't think it's going to be there. It might be in the grill. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure this will be in the grill. This is going to be turned carbon fiber. Okay, let's see, um... Yeah, it looks more like a diffuser, but the problem is I don't really have any other grills that look like that. Or at least have a diffu- that kind of diffuser look. That would fit there. Yeah, I know. Nothing here resembles a diffuser at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the best we're going to get. Okay, now for the actual diffuser, like the actual exhaust tips. This might be a little bit more difficult because it has these rectangular exhaust tips. I don't even know if wait they are in the game. Are are they do they come in singles though? That's what I wanna know. They do although what um wait Oh wait one has the cutout the other one doesn't I see What does this one have? Oh, this one's lower in. Okay, so they're all different heights. Can you mirror this? Uh oh. There we go. Oh my gosh, that looks terrible. That looks terrible too. Yeah, no, I'm definitely doing that. That looks a lot better. Yeah, I think that's uh, our best to go at this. Oh gosh. Wait, no, this will be a lip. At least I think it should be a lip.
Hold on, I'm gonna look up images of an Audi R8 rear end. That one's modified, never mind. <laughs> How hard- I'm looking at Google Images. How hard is it to find an image of the rear end of an Audi R8? Wait, what is that? Well, oh, I'm getting sidetracked. No, no, no. No, looking at- oh, I'm going to just find a picture of one and just continue looking at stuff from there. Okay, here's a good picture. I found one. Never mind. I wonder if this one would work. It looked like it could. Oh no, it doesn't have the diagonal angles. It's also the wrong kind of... It also has the wrong kind of design. Wait, hold on, does it have anything in grills? Sometimes they do. Sometimes they have stuff in grills that look like it. Oh, here we go. Okay, I swear, there were, like, other options for this. I'm not kidding. Oh, let, let, let me look up Diffuser on the workshop real quick. Okay. I found something, and this looks pretty cool. I, it turned out I did have a diffuser mod installed. I was just looking in the wrong place. Whoops. Hold on, I'm going to change these to this. Let's see how this looks. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. That's what I really want. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the exhaustives and we're going to grab the ones that we had before. Wait. What's in- what is that supposed to say? Informing exhausts? What's the difference between this one and the other ones? Oh, I see. It looks like they're properly aligned this time. Okay, I completely take that back. Wait, but what's the difference between this one and the other one? Okay, we'll just do that one. What is that? I have no idea. 
What's the difference? But the, is there no difference? I don't think there's a difference. They're the exact same part. Okay, but yeah, aside from that, their exhaust is done, and the back looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. That looks, um, I would think I, I feel proud of myself for doing that. Okay, now for the spoiler, that's basically the only thing to top it all off besides the badge, which I will need to restart the game in order to get the badge on. Oh no. That's a. Uh, that's what it has, right? Oh, it's retractable spoiler. I think. I don't know. There's some images with the spoiler and with it. There's some images that have it with the spoiler, and there are other images that have it without a spoiler. Which one is it? I might just do the. The other spoiler, just because it looks cooler. Oh wait, there's the there are the retractable spoilers. I could use those, since apparently the, new, the latest generation of what of the R8 has them. What kind of shape of a spoiler this does this have? I'm seeing a lot of weird, weird looking wings. It's hard to find a realistic looking one. Oh, well, there's a diffuser. Wait, is that really a diffuser? Hold on. Oh, yep, that is legitimately a diffuser. Okay, that's good to know. Wait, modular wings straight. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot I downloaded that mod. Yeah, it's where you, it's basically a Mario where you can make your own, you can, you can make your own wings or spoilers. Okay, hold on. Let's try this one. This one looks fairly promising. Oh my gosh. That is a huge wing. Also that, yeah, that is not... I swear I had a wing that looks like the spoiler that I'm looking at in Google Images right now. Like, not a joke. Like, no joke. Oh, heck no. I'm not doing that. Oh, gosh. What is that deformation? Yeah, thank you for that game. I'm wondering when they'll fix that. Like, that game, this game still has that glitch. Okay, that wing is too aggressive. What the heck is this? Okay, it's just a normal looking wing. Or spoiler. Let's see. Um, I'm going to go back to spoiler. I might have a little bit of more luck there. You know what? I'm just going to use the modular spoil, like the, like the, the, like just the normal looking spoiler because that seems to be easier to uh, replicate rather than the RS spoiler or whatever you call it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we have that problem though. Although while we're at it, we could probably go in volume molding and cover that up so we can do the gas, the gas, pl 
the gas cap because that's where that goes. That's if I can find a shape that can cover that spot. Hold on, is there a trim paint, uh, body paint slots? There's that, 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 that. Okay, all trim panels. Da, 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 da. Okay. Hmm. The only th solution I see is to c take a vent and just cover it up, which should be, which is probably what I'm going to be, what I'm going to end up doing. Because that's like the only way I see this actually working. And how is this? Oh yeah, this is probably the thing to use. I think this one has like the the least amount of depth. There we go. You and you. Okay, instead of red, paint you black. Nope, that's the same color as the window. Hmm. Wait, can we do a carbon fiber? That could work. Yeah, the carbon fiber material could work. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, the soft top. I forgot about that. I forgot how dark it is. Yeah, I'm doing the soft top. That looks pretty... It looks pretty on point. Besides the whole fact that it's uh, offset. Hold on, can I fix that? The problem is if that I do, yeah, it's going to start showing up. It's going to start showing more of the chromey bits. Does it even have? It doesn't even have chrome there. Hold on, let me fix that. Uh, window trim. You are not chrome. You are probably plastic. I'm pretty sure you're not plastic, but that's um, that's my guess. It's something dark. It's not chrome. I know that. Let's see. Is there anything else I can use this? I can use to cover it up with. Wait, a scoop. I haven't thought about this. There might be a scoop I could use. Although, then again, I doubt it. Does this car have a sunroof? That's actually a good question. I don't even know if it does. Okay, which side is the fuel cap on? Okay, it looks like it's the right side. Oh, I'm body molding. I wish there was like a shape that looked more rounded out on here that I could use to cover it up. But there isn't. Which kind of annoys me that there isn't. Because you would figure that people would actually try and make replica cars. Also, I need to look at the door handles now. Where's a good image of the door handle? Or at least the door. Oh gosh, it's in the little inlet. That's going to be hard to replicate. 
Because you can... You can't really get a good angle at the... Oh, did I just delete that? I hope I did. Okay, good, I didn't. Yeah, I forgot there's a vent there. There we go. Okay, and I know it's not a... It's not chrome, so... Sure, we're doing that. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. It's hidden and secluded. Oh, wait. I forgot about that vent. <clears throat> okay, so the mirrors are probably going to be easy because there are some fairly... I have a modern-looking mirror that will be perfect on this car. And it's this one. It This will suit it really well. And I'm pretty sure they're carbon fiber, so let me change it to carbon fiber. Oh, oops, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. That looks pretty nice, right? Now for that. What am I going to do with that? Oh, wait. Could I do this? I wonder. If I rotate this 90 degrees. Nope, it just, uh, it just uh, tries to mold with the car. Actually, hold on a minute. If I just do a cardinal lock on... Nope, it still does the same thing. Okay, yeah, scoop obviously isn't going to work. Body molding. I tried this earlier. It didn't work. For the, it didn't work that well. Although I might, I might have spoke too soon. That looks pretty promising. If only I can find that in 3D form. Hold on, one of these has to be 3D, right? One of them is inverted almost always. I say almost always, and both of them are not inverted. Actually, wait, hold on. Could you, uh, scale it so that... Oh, gosh, no, you can't. Oh, gosh, and that looks hideous. No, thank you. There has to be one vent that can replicate this. Besides this one. What do I need to do? Well, I'm going to look up. I'm going to look at stuff, and then I'll be right back. Okay, this is the end result. This is what I ended up with. The only thing left I need to do is paint the wheels. Uh, do that. Oh yeah, also I need to look at wheels. Who would have a good Audi? What looks like Audi wheels? These look like Audi wheels. Oh yeah, and they scream Audi too. Yo, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that those are going to be the wheels of choice. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Those are out. Those are the wheels. Okay, now I need to restart the game and pull on the badges. Because, yeah. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and I now have the badges installed. Why are there two Ashton Martin badges? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Um, okay, I, yeah, I actually read the chat. At least the comment section of this of the mod page and it says that these don't work so let's hope that oh no they don't work Hold on do they need to be in 3d or something nope uh well that sucks i'm going to need to make my own then not like it not like the audi badge is that hard to make where are the letters there they are How many circles is it? Wait, hold on a minute. How many circles is the Audi logo? Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm just checking. I'm gonna untoggle snapping for this. Just so I can over... Yeah, there we go. Heck yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at this. That is a nice looking Audi badge right there. Okay, now we gotta do the same for the back. Look at that. Ow, oh, wait a minute. It's not centerized, is it? <laughs> Whoopsies, my bad. Okay, so if that's centerized... Okay, I gotta be really careful about this. Here we go. Now it's centerized. Now I'm going to double check to make sure this one's centerized. Okay, yeah, that is centerized. Good. Alright, now that we got the exterior done. Wait, hold on. Do we... Yeah, we got the yeah we got the exterior done, and it looked. I must say, I did a really good job on it. That looks really, it looks really accurate. And I'm proud of myself for that. Okay, so yeah, I think it is. It's either wheel drive or all wheel drive. Oh, let's check this. A W D or wheel. Oh, it does have all wheel drive. Okay. I would imagine it. Okay, uh. Transmission. So it's an automatic. I imagine it's an advanced automatic. And it's a 7 speed, so it's. So that amount of a gear ratio. I think it can get up to around 160 or. Yeah, sure. Uh, sure, yeah, everything looks good there. Rail tires, sports compound. Sure, carbon fiber, why not? 
And I think we need to, to uh... I think we might need to adjust the rim diameter a bit. Okay, I feel like this will be carbon ceramic. It is a, a supercar after all. I don't know what I was about to say before, but... It definitely wasn't supercar. <laughs> I wish there was like a, a default you could set that would have it race, like race brakes. Like I feel like that needs to be a default, like a default setting. Okay, it does have a, I feel like it should have a little bit of downforce. And it should have cooling flash. Brake airflow. We're going to bring that up to 50. And yeah, it is a two-seater. Uh, sure. Sport. And a luxury head... No, just premium heads-up display. Extra variable. All the advanced safety features. It's going to be active sport. Sure, semi-active. It's going to be, uh... How about sports suspension? Yeah, that works. Hold on, uh, does this... Like, you'd figure to have a little bit of ground clearance. Okay, and the wheels, we're gonna have a rim offset. Yeah, that looks good. And I forgot some badging, some very important badging for that. The R8 badging that's right here. So let's add that. I was also realizing that I might have... Oh, okay, no I didn't. Okay, numbers. Where are the numbers? Oh, there they are. Wrong place to look. Oh, heck yeah, look at that. R8. Oh, actually, that might be a little bit too big. I just now realized that. There we go. Okay, back to the eight. Okay, I'm going to deselect that as a mirrored.
Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, Audi R8. Look at that. I actually made a, a pretty believable looking replica. That looks, this looks pretty sick, except for that awkward thing. But we're not going to talk about that. But other than that, the car looks pretty good. This looks pretty well done, in my opinion. Yeah, this looks really nice. I am proud of this. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about all those errors because, yeah, the automation's errors are a little bit questionable sometimes. The only thing left to do is export this thing to Beam and G Drive. Which I might actually test it out because I do want to hear the sweet, sweet sound of the engine because the engine did sound a lot like the actual engine that the R8 has. But that's going to do it for today's episode of Automation. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see me repli make replicas of any other cards, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time.